Welcome to Electron Online. Here's a basic example of how to find the torque. Notice the distance from here to here where the force acting is 5 meters. The magnitude of the force is 100 newtons and theta is 30 degrees. We're going to find both the magnitude and the direction of the torque. Notice that basic based on the pivot point being here and notice how the force is acting. If this was the only force acting on this object, it would cause the object to rotate in a clockwise direction, which means this is going to give you a clockwise torque. In other words, it's going to be a negative torque. So we could put a little negative sign here. Clockwise means a negative torque or into the board. Next, we need to find the equation. The equation is going to be that the magnitude of the torque is equal to the distance from the pivot point to where the force is acting, which is equal to r times the magnitude of the force f times the cosine of the angle between the perpendicular to the position vector and the direction of the force, which is theta in this case. That means that the torque is going to be equal to r, which is 5 meters, times the force, which is 100 newtons, times the cosine of 30 degrees, that would be 500 newtons multiplied times 0.866. That would be 433 newtons. And that will be the magnitude of the torque. The direction is clockwise. Therefore, it will be a negative 433 newtons. So if you want to think about it, this is going to be in negative. So in other words, the torque is equal to minus 433 newtons. Notice that when you write it like this, you simply say the magnitude of the torque is 433 newtons. If you write it like this, you basically want to make it into a vector quantity. Oop, and I'm missing something. Newton meters. I can't forget the complete units. It's newton meters, not newtons. Newtons is the unit of force. Newton meters is the unit of torque. So torque is a minus 433 newton meters. But if you're going to write it with a negative sign, we probably better want to put it as in the z direction and make it into a torque like that. So the negative sign is always misunderstood when it comes to torque. We usually talk about magnitudes and direction. So I'd rather see it as 433 newton meters in a clockwise direction, or if you want to put the negative sign down, write as a vector, put a negative in front of it, and then put the direction of that vector as well. So that's how it's done, and that's how you calculate the torque of a situation like that.